Friday, a big blue nation has invaded Bridgestone Arena. The three C Kentucky Wildcats taking the floor for the first time and doing it against one of the hottest teams in all of college basketball. Vanderbilt, the hometown team, has won nine of ten for the Cats tonight. They survived without a point guard the last couple of games. Tip controlled by Kentucky in its home white. Vandy in the role black. Ezra Mignon, an elite defender. We matched up with Wallace early on. And here's Oscar Shibwe. Faces up Melora Brown. Jump, stop, step, throw, bucket. So physical. Just gets where he wants to. Melora Brown has to stay down in that pump fake. Don't bite on it. Starting five for Vandy looks like this. They did not shoot the ball well last night. Trey Thomas went 0 for 6 from 3. But they still managed the win. Pardon me, 0 for 4 for Thomas from deep. Miles Studi who will come off the bench. He's a stretch four and five now with Liam Robbins out. They're going to have to beat Kentucky from beyond the arc. Lawrence leaves that one short. Jacob Toppin is helping bring the ball up the court since the injuries to both Wallace and Xavier Wheeler who did not practice in Kentucky's open practice two days ago. C.J. Frederick did. He's available but we expect Mignon is a pass first point guard played at UC Davis last year played AAU ball with Scotty Pippen Jr. That's what opened up his Vanderbilt recruiting he gets by Shibwe and with the left fits it in outstanding penetrator noted Shibwe went for 21 and 20 Jordan Wright the hero on the road for the Commodores emotional stack house after that game he's guarded by Wallace now right into traffic and off the glass. Yeah, he's such a mismatch. He, he can post kisses off the glass. See, Casey Wallace has that left leg taped from hip to ankle. Like with the Kentucky coaching staff, he's not expected to be limited in any way tonight. Well, pinballs around. Wallace fires a three. Got it! And he had been ice cold. Just two for his last 20 from deep. Skip pass intercepted by Wallace. Here's Reeves. Fouled on his way up, and Lawrence went down hard. Kentucky team. Simple answer, he said, breathing. It hurts to breathe. For the Commodores. Shibway looking for position. Now he backs off. This is Toppin, isolated. Blocked, got it back. Got another rebound. And Melora Brown came over with the help. He got him contained and boom, he boosts through the hole. Wallace drives. No look out to Reeves for three. Pretty play for the Cats. They're up by seven. Reeves again. Got it again. Timeout, Vandy. Freshman lead door back to action. Last night, for the first time after missing a couple of months with a stress fraction. Shot clock balls. of four from the logo. Mm. Right. Well, they needed that position like Mignon is. Wallace can kind of play safety. He's just hanging out. So yeah. you've got Wallace, 22 and white, just kind of hanging out right inside that 18-foot area. Mignon only four of 27 from three all season. Steps through. Got it. You know, there are shades of Scottie Pippen Jr. Mignon gets a screen from the big body freshman Dort. Wallace switched on to Dort, or pardon me, on the right. Mignon. Count it again! Mignon's second three in as many days. Buddy in a bandy uniform. Toppin and Livingston back on the floor for the Cats. Toppin has it rim out. Again, another putback for Jacob Toppin. Great piece by Kyle Tucker in the end. He has not played less than 33 minutes since he came back from that one game injury against Tennessee January 14th. Shibwe goes back to his right and takes it off the glass for his second bucket of the night. You know, if you're Jerry Stackhouse, you're frustrated. It's like, hey, man, right at the rim for Kentucky off of those offensive putbacks. Seven offensive rebounds for the Cats.
Here's Studi up the curl. Reeves from deep. Another offensive rebound. And this will end on Lee Dort's second personal foul. They typically shrink in that moment and kind of fold and shy away. Skipped off the rim. And See most of the action Vanderbilt runs is trying to get Sheboy away from the basket, make him play through some ball screens, back screens, you name it. He has set up camp in the lane here. Three ball good, Tyron Lawrence. And the most contested. Cats went on a 12 0 run to take control of this game. But Vandy showing great fight. Shibway banks it in. He's just getting a foot or two of separation as Shibway. Trey Thomas lets it fly. Trey Thomas, the smallest guy for Vanderbilt. Is that one's short. He went 10 minutes between buckets after scoring the first before he got his second. Step through drive and it's Massade off the glass. What a move by Lawrence. That's out of the rim and finish. And he was able to spin it in. Toppin with the answer from deep. His first three of the night. Now Lawrence on Shibway. No mismatch inside though. Livingston saves it. Oscar Shibway finds it. Looking for an assist to Toppin. Livingston Toppin Toppin again House all over the officials Kentucky fans out of their seats Lewis Lawrence into Wallace Here's Toppin on the run. Lob to Raves. Vandy didn't get back. Kentucky took advantage. So that fast break. Out to Lewis. Three ball. Well, how about the freshman? Just he seems to get better. Toppin to Shibway. Malora Brown draped all over him. Tipped out to Thomas. Vandy can tie it with a three. This is a high level contents intense in front of a sold out crowd. And Lawrence got it in. Freshman versus freshman here. Wallace pull up. He's so good with that man. Just one two dribble pull up. Barry Stackhouse stoic on the Vandy sideline. You think he's good with that shot? No, but I think it started when Tyron Lawrence gave it up too quickly. It was the same action as the play before. Kentucky was icing the ball screen, and he kicked it out before he really tried to attack. Reeves on the drive. Well, they're going to give him that layup. We talked to Shibway. Buries the long jumper. Well, that Wallace blew that one up. Here's Lewis to Malora Brown. Studi shares it. Another one to the freshman. Shot clock. Beat it. And a foul after. New Fierro in the game for the first time for Kentucky. And Frederick returns to the floor. Now this is a really small lineup. We're calling Smith playing the five, but he's really a shooter. Magnon and Lewis, especially small in the backcourt. Right. Banks it in. And that works because Shibwe is out guard against Arkansas. And then on the other end, you have a smaller, quicker Whoa. defender in Smith. And then speaking of quick, again, <laughs> he's got you like the comfort of knowing you can get to the paint without Oscar Shibwe down there. Wallace pump fake. Open three. Studi is down. 
And they will stop play for player safety after Parmi Colin Smith after I mean Colin Smith has been a bear hug. I, I just don't know how Oscar's gonna avoid in F1 after his elbow competition. They're playing up against an NC day at the what I've seen and based on their resume, I think these Commodores are in and they're proving it right now in this first half. There would do wonders for the resume. And they could turn into a bid thief here in the middle of Champ Week or towards the end of Champ Week. Champ Week gets longer and longer every year. Two second different shot and game clock. Here's Magnon. Gets it back. Drives on Livingston. Out to Lewis. Shot clock at five. Lewis kicks it. Shot clock at two. And the three is good from Jordan Wright. Bandy will take a five point lead into the locker room. Largest lead of the half for the Bubblicious Commodores. Time to fight. First half certainly was a battle, guys. That was the message he started the day with when Kentucky practiced at Belmont University this morning as Lawrence cuts down the lane for a bucket. He said, you've got to be desperate. you got a Shibway inside. Good cut by Livingston. And that's the first bucket for Chris Livingston, the fresh in a little bit of a roller coaster year, but he can really impose his will, especially on the glass. This Vanderbilt backcourt playing with so much confidence. Magnon rolls one home. And that's a shot he can't make because they set the ball screen so deep beaten in. Sheboy going to work, kicks it out. An air ball from Case and Wallace. I don't think John Calipari is a fan of the way they're not calling the post defense by Vandy, saying Chibwe's continuing to get shoved. Another bucket for Magnon. Kentucky won. See if their defense can travel in these NCAA tournaments. Let's see if the post defense for Vandy is officiated any differently going forward. Remember, Oscar Chibwe picks up a flagrant one for an elbow to Colin Smith. Case and Wallace pull up from the free throw line. Nice job just pulling up over back out to right. And the three short. Toppin will try to push it for the Cats. Baseline drive and a foul charge to Jordan Wright. Have had some Chicago talent make its way to the Bluegrass. Leave it. Made the wrong decision. Such an elite point guard decision maker. Cup. Reeves struggling from the free throw line. Magnon with the shake and the finish. And that is fits in a sleeve, and it's all he can do to be on the floor. As I mentioned earlier, he has trouble breathing. The ribs hurt so bad. Yeah, but look at him in there fighting, busting through screens, boxing out. He checked about three different players on that possession. Livingston lost it going across the end line. Here's Wright. Melora Brown with the tip. First bucket of the night for the Vandy Big. Get it a cheerleader roll. Reeves takes it hard. Nice back cut by Reeves. Magnon was in the perimeter. Nice counter. Right fires. Wow! Vandy. Jordan Wright was the hero at Rupp. And a well-timed three. Oh. What an answer! Livingston dropped the beats on him. Seven footer, you say, I got me a footer. Not quite seven feet, but six, ten. Still pretty impressive. Big time play by Livingston. Bottom of the NCAA. There's worse quad four losses out there. Good defense by Shibwe over Colin Smith. And Reeves is able to get it in. The bottom line is we're program, but catapult him right into the tournament. Here's that small ball lineup that was so effective towards the end of the first half. They went on a 7 0 run. Shibai with the steal on Magnon and the finger roll. It's on a roll. Shibai into double figures. 
Lawrence fouled. It's Tyron Lawrence at the free throw line. Alyssa, what'd you get out of the Kentucky? Hand, get two hands on that thing. Lawrence knocks them both down. He's got 11 points. Calhoun, they thought at worst they were going to have a baseline out of bounds play under their own basket. Reeves with the long two. If Coming. you're guarding of an offensive score as anybody in the SEC. Mignon on Wallace. Out to Lawrence. Contested three. Rattles home. How about the shoulder fake? Shiz up from deep. Meanwhile, the Cats have heated up on this end. They've made five. All of their last five, I should say. Shibwe on the offensive glass. Slams it home. They are third best in the country at getting 38% of the misses is Kentucky, and they have taken advantage. Plus 14 on the glass overall. Lawrence into the lane. Another one for Vandy. And he's got the ball against Alabama. Topping with the lob push. And they have responded. They've faked. And Melora Brown's tip kept it alive. Great play call to get an open three. Wallace went down. Right into Shibwe. How about that? Onion started his career at UC Davis. Great academic reputation there. He said, I knew when I was going to transfer, I had to go somewhere that also had a good academic standing. Melora Brown with the shake and draws the foul on Shibwe, who insists he was straight up. High IQ guy, but you want to play him one-on-one -on -one in the post. Make in grad school now, mechan mechanical engineering degree, two for two from the line. 11 point big kind of Kentucky tonight. Toppin rises, drops it down. And he's always had that, to lob it to Toppin. And then run Frederick off some down screens and Reeves. Reeves and Shibway on the same side. Oscar massages it in. He's got 14. Almost lost it. Bobbles it. Keeps it. Fades. Top it all the way down. And they get tied up by Lawrence. He'll be at the free throw line. Whereas Kentucky's done it more so off the offensive rebounds and post ups to see. Of his games with a 10 point lead. That's 328 wins against just. The Blue Nation on its feet. Vanderbilt's cold shooting. Parlayed with a 6 0 Kentucky run has made it a five point game. And now Wallace is steal. Reeves ahead. He's got Livingston. Slipped. And then gets fouled. And it's not the first. Ball's been in his hands a lot tonight, hasn't it? Here's Reeves. 81% on it. He did, but he was also demanded. Back to Chicago for his senior year at Simeon Academy before going to Illinois State. He's Entry denied by Shibwe, but Wright still got it. Wright goes down. Magnon saves it at midcourt. Great balance at the shot clock buzzer. Bam! Ezra Magnon. Wallace does not look full speed to me. Reeves does, but that's off. We saw Wallace with that back brace and warm ups at after halftime. A few years back when Purdue's Isaac Haas actually got a fractured elbow, but. Did that angle change your mind at all? Pro shooter on the season. than what it would have been just a trip to the free throw line. And they keep Vanderbilt's guards out of the paint. Lawrence is just running circles in there. Under five to play. Magnon runs into Wallace and a blocking foul on Case and Wallace. As a reminder, they did win on the road at Bud Walton Arena essentially a minute tonight. He's got a game high 20 points. One of his best performances in a Vanderbilt uniform. He is denying Reeves the ball. He is 
covering 12 and White. Anybody but Reeves. Toppin off the glass. Great take by Toppin if Toppin provides it. They'll get Reeves for the foul, chasing Mignon around the screen. Third on Reeves. That's my that's reasserted himself and become a reliable guy. And he stays perfect. They split their matchup during the regular season. And take the pick. Mignon. Nope, that's Malora Brown and his one. Missed the front end. Possibly turned it over. He thought Livingston was coming down the lane. Went a different direction. Well, on the adjustment by Vanderbilt, they did a dig down for the first time. Sheboy was caught off guard because Lawrence and others have left Malone. Jordan Wright. First miss from the line for Vanderbilt tonight. 11 of 12. Wallace has returned. I was surprised to see that. He's got the heart of a champion, though. Reeves. And a foul inside, and Kentucky going back to the free throw line. It'll be another rebounds. He broke Shaq's 30-year-old Rupp Arena rebounding record when last year he hauled in 28 against Western Kentucky. But he misses the front end of a one-on-one -on -one for the second time under three and a half minutes. Gore is content to burn some clock here. Reeves on Mignon. Mignon tried to split him, turned it over. Wallace to Livingston. Here's Reeves for three. Got it. Point game, two minutes to play in Nashville. And Mignon fouled at midcourt by Reeves. His Vandy's dark conference play, but at the end of it, you don't know him, you do now. Wallace for three. Shibwe over Malora Brown. Four from the line. Almost like a shooter going up for a shot. Two monster free throws for Shibwe. He had missed his previous two. Kentucky pressing now, picking up three quarter. We got 90 seconds of play in regulation. Shot clock at five, Tyron Lawrence. Shot clock at two, Lawrence fading. Got it! 18 for Lawrence, the lead is six for Vandy. One minute left. Yep, good and call, And an Charles. offensive foul on Shibwe. Mm -hmm. Coach Kay or Reeves? No, it was on Reeves. There it is, and that's his fifth. I think that's the right call. Lawrence puts his arm on his back a little bit, but I think basketball on the season, no more important time than now. Oh, there it Offense is. Offensive the other way. That's the old Chris Jones Louisville play. Lead less than seven minutes into this game, up 14 to four. John Calipari, Kentucky, has won 328 games and only lost 13 in games where he's had a 10 point lead. Here's Toppin. Huge three for Jacob Toppin and a quick timeout taken by Kentucky.
Put a tenth of a second back on the clock. Vandy looking for the home run ball, not there. Thomas takes himself into a corner, and he turns it over. Top into the rack, and he's fouled. Felt like they were going to get the ball in okay, but the big double team comes, and Trey Thomas, 5'11", 160, just gets smothered up there. And top. Mm, costly. Missed them both. Right the rebound. Cats will trap and they whistle the stop with 34 seconds left. Three and a half. And Jordan from the line. Wright's got an 18 point night. 34 seconds left. Kentucky needs a miracle now. Wallace will fire. He didn't have anything else in a foul on the rebound. Two shots coming. Top and miss two. A moment. Solidify your spot on selection Sunday. Solidify and lock it up. Lock it up. I'm in against Auburn. And of course, we saw it at Kentucky. And. He has tied his season high with 25 points. Wallace. Here's Toppin. He can rise and fire, but left it short. Rebound to Vandy. Magnon racing away from everybody. He avoids the foul, and Vandy will run out the clock. The Vanderbilt Commodores may have just punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament. Their second straight win against Kentucky, and they will move on to our second semifinal tomorrow. These guys have earned it the hard way. Clutch plays. No cupcakes on their schedule. They had one of the toughest SEC conference schedules of any team in the league.